three, two, one. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Mind Buzz podcast. Amber, you did a great job on the grito. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate. I've been uh, I've been practicing at uh, our local family events. All that you do. Um, <laughs> welcome to the podcast that talks to your favorite artists, your favorite entrepreneurs, your favorite comics, people just like you. Uh, let's see what else. It is so weird not having my laptop at the beginning of this, but uh, <laughs> the Mind Buzz is partnered with My Grito Industries, a Latino-owned and Chicano podcast network, and also art collective and uh, record label. Uh, let's see. What's <laughs> What are you laughing I at? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What the heck's the matter with you? <laughs> I thought it was something. Is this your first day? <laughs> it's my first day on the job. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you get it out first. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I am. Uh, mind, the Mind Buzz is not only, well, it is part of the My Grito podcast network, but check out our other favorite or our other favorite podcast, Emo Brown, Chicano Shuffle, and West Coast Pop Lock. West Coast Pop Lock and Tragos Amargos. Season two should be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, they got a Chalino Sanchez episode for me because I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else do we got. And what do we have else going on? What do we have? No. Um, we have our open mic. We have our open mic. Signups go uh, up tomorrow. Um, so if you are a, a musician, a poet, a comedian, a dancer, I don't know, you want to juggle on stage something, anything, um, come and sign up. It's going to be really fun. Um, it's Halloween theme, so... Got to come in your costume. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be overall a good time like it always is. And before we get started, uh, the link will be down in the show description. But before we get started, I want to say that we had an amazing time at Chicano Shuffle's six-year anniversary pachanga at Nativo. Nativo is a really nice place. It's really nice. Yeah, their drinks were good. The food was good. Mm-hmm. I had mushroom tacos. Uh, it was it was really good, but yeah. um, we had a great time. We had a it great was time. A good turnout. It was fun. It was it was just cool. We used the My Grito code for the lift. It worked. Oh yeah, it worked. It worked, guys. Uh, you guys should have should have used it. So we'll we'll uh we'll show you guys later because we uh, documented it because we couldn't believe it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Ramon. All the masa that he talks, this is actually correct. Like even Fernie, Fernie, you guys were talking about it this whole time. It's a MythBusters. It was a MythBusting. <laughs> we did a MythBusters episode. <laughs> yeah, we did. But uh, yeah, congrats to those guys for uh, being a podcast for six years and growing. And I'm excited to see an- another six years. So yeah, that's it. Uh, without further ado, let's get into our guest for this evening. He runs uh, two barber shops. He's a comedian. He's a father. Uh, I first uh, met this dude at a open mic in the city of Bell called Soy Funny. What's up, Sergio Checo? What's going on, man? What's up, man? <laughs> I, got, I got quickly distracted by the mosquito that flew right in front <laughs> I of <know> me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got an extra uh, an extra member in the podcast. So yeah, right can here. let's get him a mic. Hook up a mic. Let's <laughs> see what's going on in his world. It's not, I bet nothing going on. Just buzzing around. You were like um, like the epitome of squirrel. 
but you were like, Sankudo. Yeah, yeah, Sankudo, <laughs> real quick. It's because it came at me like, oh my God. Little... <laughs> oh, great timing on, on behalf of the, yeah, the mosquito. But enough about the mosquito, damn it. I thought this was about us. <laughs> now, what's going on, man? Yes, yes. My name is Sergio Sergio Checo, which is um, odd because nobody calls me Checo. It's just no? a stage name. <laughs> So, oh really yeah okay bro. when i started doing comedy my friend told me like look uh my, my instagram name was barber surge mm -hmm. and he's like you might want to change it because uh if you if you get introduced as barber surge or surge mm -hmm. of barber you see it yeah gonna, uh, i've seen it uh, let's get it i mean we're gonna get it yeah, during the podcast gonna, uh, we got it yeah yeah i'm gonna uh, smash it uh which color now uh, um <laughs> He's like, you got to change it or else people are going to be like expecting you to do comedy just about barbers. And I was like, like barbershop comedy and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it's cool. I like talking about the barbershop and stuff like that. Um, but when I'm off work, it's like, I, I kind of like, you know, leave it back. There. I could do different. I could do comedy about almost anything. So it's like, why stick to one genre when I could just, you know, stick to do all, do them all. So it's like, you got to come up with a name. And I was like, okay, well. You know, we came up with a bunch of different names, and like one of them was like, uh, so my my full name because I'm Mexican, mm -hmm. uh, I'm from I'm from Sinaloa. Like I'm from Sinaloa, like names. you paisa. Yeah. yeah, so my name is uh, Sergio. It's just uh, two different two last names. Sergio Melgar Bon, and he was like, oh, Bon is your last name. He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, Sergio Bon Bon. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> don't. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. I was like, oh man, I laughed. I go, oh, dude. So um, Bon Bon's a marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys, yeah, for Wait, them. is is that why they call them bonbons? Because yeah. they're they're shaped like marshmallows? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Or know. maybe Latinos took bonbon and they couldn't say bonbon and they say bonbon. Mm, could be. Oh, yeah. That's the. I don't even know what the hell is. But point is, like, I did not like that. And I was like, oh, then it's like, oh, do, be el, el bombón asesino, which is, is uh, yeah, the, the, what is that? The, the killer, killer marshmallow. The killer marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, yeah, dude, let's, let's, let's keep Bon away from that. <laughs> and like, well, damn, like, what's the nickname for Sergio? And I was like, oh, duh. I was like, damn, I, I didn't even want to tell him, man. Like, if he didn't know it, I was like, all right, cool. But I was like, it's, uh, it's Checo, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Sergio El Checo," and I was like, oh, "God, it doesn't even, I don't know which one else the worst, Bon Bon or or freaking El Checo." So I was like, "I'll oh, just go with Checo," and yeah. So El Checo, that's a that's supposed to be like shorthand for Sergio. El Checo, yeah, Checo's a nickname for Sergio, mm, which, okay. know, which is odd because like Sergio's, I guess, originally a Russian name, so Sergey. Uh, which kind of, and I think that's the nickname for for a, a Sergio is a, a Checo because something my dad explained to me years ago. It's like a from Czechoslovakia or supposedly like that, and so all the Czechoslovakians are Czechs. So in Spanish, on Czechos, Czechoslovakia, and so it's like oh, so then the name became Checo. Like all right, cool. That's yeah. So, so that's the way it was. It could be completely hundred percent wrong. So you're part oh Russian. Dad, that's, yeah. that's what you're telling me. You're no, part no, Russian. No, I'm not Russian. It's just, just uh, geez, I do not. Hey, I gotta cut that out from the podcast. You know, the Ukraine is gonna be hate now. Like, we do not support these men's comedy. Like, oh, crap. I'm definitely gonna get canceled now. That's awesome, Amber. Can you talk to him real quick? I need to run and uh, go in the other room and shut something off. Yes. Yeah. The AC is shut off in the other room, FYI. But. You got it. Let me get the fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but um, I feel like there's always, like for every Latino name, there is a, like a an apodo, right? Yeah, yeah an apodo's nickname. The there's nickname. Sometimes there's two or three nicknames for them. You know, freaking uh, uh, Francisco's Pancho, uh, Jose's Juancho, freaking, uh, they're all with an O or something like that. Uh, Fernando's like Ferna or you know just different yeah, but, yeah or, or Vicente's Chente you know just there's so many different nicknames for so many uh, for every name I'm pretty sure there's a nickname <laughs> there really is yeah it becomes it becomes like if you don't know the nickname you know you're not fully you know Mexican because most Mexicans like I said you know being around everybody's you know Hispanic name you already know their nicknames and even if there isn't a nickname like I feel like someone puts a nickname on you like my dad my dad my dad's short right so they so my dad has two nicknames that kind of evolved so in oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait tell me your dad's name and I'll try and guess his nickname no you're not gonna guess it from his name no way oh really because it's it's irrelevant his try him Umberto yes yeah, Beto 
No. No? No. Uh. So, wow, well, you're, you're from Sinaloa, right? You said you're from Sinaloa? Yeah. So, you know the whole chacho and chacha thing? Chacho and chacha, no. No? Okay. Well, that. maybe could I, maybe if you ask your dad. So, chachos are the eldest of the family. So, within, like, where we're from, because we're from Sinaloa. Uh -huh. So, all the older boys, they call them chachos. And the girls are chacha. Oh, so see, the eldest. Yeah, so we're we're I'm from we grew up we call them chachis. Okay, well then mm, so it, it yeah. derived from the same yeah, yeah. like oh, okay. thing. So my dad is chacho because he's the oldest from his siblings. Uh huh. But you know they my immigrated here to the U.S. So then they started calling him chach. So oh, okay. so instead of like chacho and then they were like cha cha chacho you know chacho. But chacho is not a nickname from his name though. No, it's, it's just his from, yeah, yeah from, from his, his own. Family That's what I'm saying. Either, even if it doesn't come from your name, uh -huh. your family still figures a way to, to give, you give you a, a nickname. nickname. Yeah, so he has yeah. that one chach, and then um, they used to call him Shorty when he was in high school. So his family couldn't say Shorty. So then they call him Chori. Chori. Yeah, Chori. Yeah, I so his that. last name is Chori. I mean, his nickname is Chori or Chach. So there's... Uh, and I'm just like, how? Like, oh, it's not even your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I can say like Beto is... Yeah, I have a brother named Umberto. So it's like... Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. The nickname for... The name is, is Beto. Beto. Yeah. So like all my brothers like Ernesto's Neto, Ismael is Mayel. Gonzalo's Chalo or Chalillo, uh, and then Sergio's Checo, which is, you know, the See? most oddest one. Do all families have like nicknames like this? All names have yeah. a nickname, yeah. yeah. It's it's very rare when you have a name that does not have a nickname because it's like, I think the only one that can come up right now is like one of my cousins' name is Lazaro. Mm -hmm. so it's like, what is Lazaro? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lazaro. Sounds like, like laser. Lazaro. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> Doctor, you have a, a family, family nickname? Uh, family nickname? No. Los I hate you right now. Yeah. Um, no, no, Gil. Gil has a family nickname. I love you nickname. so much. It's a family nickname. It's, Family's nickname. It, wow. Well, no, no, no. well, a nickname that his family gave him. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I, I'm Gibby. 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 <laughs> Isn't he looks that like cute? a Gibby, bro. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, where does that even come from? You know what? This is weird because there's a, there's a, there's a guy online that... His name is Gilbert, yeah. and he goes by Gibby. Gibby. Mm. Yeah. He know. hosts an, an open mic in somewhere in, like, San Dimas. Oh, that. I remember Frank Blanco tell me, told me about oh, it, to yeah, follow him Mr. and stuff. Mr. White. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which kind of shout out to Mr. Blanco. But, yeah, yeah Gibby is, uh, I don't know. There's yeah, the, that's, uh, the only thing that comes to mind. I don't mind, know where that came from. The only thing that comes to mind is Kimmy Gibbler. You know Gibbler? where that's from? Oh, from Full House. From Full House. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I don't know. I think Boomer of, talk. <laughs> I, I think of like um, like a little like chubby squirrel. Like Gibby. I don't know. <laughs> Gibby sounds like the name of a cartoon character. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Man. yeah. Hey, Gibby. He's Gibby. like, hey, what's up, guys? Or something. See, maybe that could be your stage name. <laughs> no. Coming to the Gibby. stage. No. G Gibby. <laughs> Gibby Anguiano. Damn, no. bro. No. <laughs> See, my it's weird to hear my last name when people call it on uh, if I'm going up to the stage. I, as of recently, I, I've been trying to, out to see like yeah, what it sounds out. like. Yeah. 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 You remember when I asked you, was it like two weeks ago? I asked you Fart to. Master or something like that? No, to, <laughs> <laughs> to put uh, Gilbert. Yeah. Because yeah. I was going by Gil for, for a few weeks. Yeah. To see how how that sounds. Yeah, that's that's like I was telling you, that's my compadre's uh, last name, Angiano. So I was like, I, you know, it's pretty much a given that I'm gonna say that last. I've said it a bunch of times before, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. But yeah, you gotta work on it because yeah, there's I can't go on stage and be called and be called be have people calling me Sergio Melgar or Sergio Melgar because it doesn't sound all that you know well. I, it, right. you know, at one point, I was gonna go with my son's name. My son's name is, uh, it was a perfectly thought out name. It's John Aries Melgar. Now, if you just put the two names together in the front without the last name, it's John Aries. Mm. That's so cool. Like, yeah. That's so cool. I was like, oh, you can call me up on stage. It's John Aries. But like, no, that's this was name. <laughs> yeah. He goes up to the stage. Yeah. He's What's like, up, oh, guys? Okay. Like, we'll both meet up on the middle of the stage. Like, uh, what? I, I was called to get off Fight the stage. Fight to the dad. death. <laughs> that or, or um, if you put the letters, the three letters of his name together, is J A M, which is Jam. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay. That's well, my yeah, cousin's name. Jamalin. 
Jamelins, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But I was and like, oh, that doesn't sound right. I call her Hamon. Hamon. <laughs> yeah, see, Ham. see, every everyone has Hamon. a nickname. Hamonine? <laughs> like Hamonina. my my grandfather, he couldn't say Amber. My name was Amber, and he calls me Ambre um. <laughs> since I was a kid. Ambre. He couldn't say Amber, and he's like, I'm, I'm, Ambre. And then he's just like, Voy a decir Ambre. You know, he's like a little 90 year old. Uh, so then some of my cousins call me hungry or, you know, like okay. things like that. So I'm like, all right, I'll take it. Oh, okay. And then it's weird because like the names will start evolving crazy, you know, like, oh, you go from Hungary. It's like, oh, it sounds like Hungary. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, you're Hungary. And they're, oh, she's from Hungary. Oh, she's Hungarian. And before you know, it's like, where did, like how did it go from amber to now i'm hungarian you know <laughs> <laughs> give it give it up to your family how to uh, always to roast you, you and up. and that's i mean if there's if there's you know one thing you could say is like you know if your family can roast you left and right then you know you got a pretty funny family because you got to be able to take it yeah what were we talking about the other day about um that we're saying that maybe our trauma is what makes us be able to improvise or something yeah we were having a conversation right about like i can't remember what we were saying uh i think it was something along the lines of uh why we are equipped with i can't even oh i remember know. i remember because okay, we were watching that show Cut the the <laughs> I thought and you didn't remember. Our, I didn't Amber. Th I I mean, you her, our host Amber. <laughs> I thought you didn't remember. We were watching the the that show that you've been watching with the comedians, mm -hmm. and you uh, were saying oh. how some people weren't receptive to like the the interview side of it. Oh right? yeah, you were that's saying right. like why can't they interview? We we're watching Kill Tony. I've been obsessing. Oh, okay. With uh, Kill Tony, the past seventy two hours of my life. Sounds yeah. like. Uh, yeah, I have addictive personality, but go ahead, Amber. No, that was it. And we were just talking about how culturally, because you were asking, you're like, I wonder why they can't. I'm like, culturally, I'm like, maybe white people, you know, they don't get grilled oh, by their yeah, family, right. like yeah. Latinos or other, right. other, you know, ethnicities. So they don't know how to reciprocate to like oh, I, I think that, roasting and stuff like that. Yeah, that, but that comes from your upbringing. You know what I mean? Like I got a couple of friends yeah. that are like, they grew up around the same area that I did, and their parents um, protected them 24-7. So they're socially awkward, you know. Now it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, so it's just, like, for me, you know, I grew up in, I grew up in two different places. Growing up when I was a little kid, I grew up in Mexico. I was born and raised over there till I was eight. So I grew up in a different culture as a little, little kid. And then when I came over to the U.S. to the U.S. from eight till eighteen, you know, I grew up in a whole, totally different culture. So I learned the best of both cultures. You know what I mean? And it's like it kind of equipped me with you know being able to to talk shit with the best of them, being able to you know what I mean, relate to Mexicans and on a, a, a whole Mexican level and stuff like that, and or Chicanos and you know here in East LA or you know wherever that. So I could for me, it's like you know it's just it was a school of learning. It's mm. two different schools mm -hmm. of learning, and you know I'm like, yeah, it's very very different for. And when did you move from Mexico to the United States? When I was eight. I was uh, on my eighth birthday. On your eighth birthday. Yeah, dude, Happy birthday. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. The first <laughs> We're bringing you to a whole new country. Uh, yeah, the first day I got here, bro, I got in trouble big time, man. Really? Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know the culture. I got here, and it was my eighth birthday, bro. And, and when I got here, I got to this um, to these apartments. And I thought, and they were having, a, I didn't know what the hell apartments were, bro, because I'm used to living in houses, even though they're small houses, mm -hmm. they're houses. And so when I got here, I was like, what the hell? I thought I lived in a mansion, dude. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I I lived in a big hell house. yeah, this and is dude, a I got badass the butlers and all that birthday stuff. party. <laughs> and then the, when we got there, we're, we parked in the driveway before, like the entrance of the driveway yeah. before you, it opened up to a bigger driveway where the garages were on the bottom or the, the what is it, carports. And uh, I saw a piñata there, and I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Like, you know, fucking, it's, it's my birthday, and I get a piñata. Like, so well, as soon as I got out of the, my mom's truck, uh, the first thing I did is grab the stick and start whacking away at the piñata, dude. <laughs> 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 so she saw me, dude, and she's like, oh, my God, like, stop, like, parale, pendejo, like, stop, you know, freaking trying to take the stick away from me. And she's all telling me, like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, que chingado, que chingado estás haciendo, pendejo? And I was like, pues, le estoy pegando la piñata, you know. So she's like, you know, I'm hitting the piñata. And she's like, why? I was like, because it's my birthday. She's like, no, it's a little girl's birthday. Like, they're celebrating her birthday, you know, they just happen to fall on the same day. And I was like, 
oh, I was out wondering, like, oh, no wonder it's a Barbie piñata, you know? So I was like, I thought they were, like, you know, trying to transition me or something like that. And I was like, oh. and I was like, kind of looked at the little girl. I was like, oh, disculpa. And, you know, the little girl, the little white girl that, you know, yeah. didn't know Spanish. So she was like, uh, whatever. She was still all mad, you know, because I hit her piñata. Like, don't fucking touch my piñata, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you figure new country, new gender. <laughs> all that good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> dude, country, new gender. Bro. Damn, these uh, gender reveal par- Already, parties are quick, it's getting crazy. crazy. I, oh, there's a joke somebody had said. I forgot whether it goes. Well, I, don't, I don't. I don't get this whole gender reveal thingy because in a couple years the baby's gonna probably change, change their sex anyways. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Did you hear what happened? in, I think it was in, in Mexico. Everywhere, they were, bro. The plane. Yeah, the plane. Oh man. Did you see that? Yeah. That was freaking wild. That's one of crazy. Uncles. No, yeah. no, it wasn't. <laughs> it it happened in, in Sinaloa. It yeah. Did? Uh-huh. yeah. The they guy tried the to video. pull out too fast and he just, the wings freaking uh, uh, caught wind and, you know, just pulled him up. And that was the end of that. Yeah. What was crazy though is that the dude was still alive while everybody was celebrating. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the? That's it's it's weird, man. Because I was like, dude, these dudes are having a party. Nobody noticed this dude's freaking wings fell off his plane, and they were like, ah, uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna uh, celebrate. Hey, we signed the waiver. We- it's, 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 <laughs> they're all partying, and the guy's like, you the Miguelos, San Puleros, you know, it's fucking- <laughs> dude. And yeah, they picked him up, and he, he that he passed away in the hospital. So he, oh, like I said, he was still man. alive during the whole ordeal. And then, you know, when he took him to the hospital, he died over there. I was like, what? And these were still celebrating the piñata with the birthday freaking, you know. Yeah. What, what was it? Pink, right? Or something? Yeah, I think it was uh, a yeah. girl. Yeah, there it is right there. It was a girl. This one, look. One life ends, you know, the other one. Yeah, look. Everything's, everything's right there. Bam. Yeah. It's oh. right in front of him. It's right. Literally, like, that's where it happened. You just all I gotta <laughs> do is look up. Yeah, they are. Yeah. All you gotta do is look up and be like, wait, are those wings supposed to come off or is it I a transformer even realize, or what? I, I thought they were yelling, to be honest. Let me put it again. I thought they were yelling out of like, ah, the plane. I didn't even realize that they were yeah. yelling. Nobody from, even said, con- el avión. Or, or, you know, they're all mad because it was a girl. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, ah, what the fuck? Uh, look, right in front, right Not in front of poof. And then the plane just goes off like crazy. And then this fool, he goes back to the couple. Look, it looks like that's a- crazy. Like, oh, well, fuck it. Yes, the <laughs> fool's dead. You know, he moles. You know, that fool's life ended now. Let's celebrate the, the beginning of this life. It's fucking crazy, man. That's Dang, <laughs> that thing folded like a pretzel uh, in yeah, there. Wait, a pretzel fold? Yeah. yeah. Dang, that's terrible. He was only 32. The dude? Yeah. 32, damn. Oh, man. But it, it happens a lot, bro. Like, you can see the guy tries to pull up too fast, and the wings just kind of, you know, it, the wind catches them, and the wings the just... Music they <laughs> 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 just the music they play. music? Yeah. 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 Do, 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 do. No. That sucks, dude. <laughs> Oh, what great. happened to the good old days when you get abortions? <laughs> when you get ab- <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. So 32 crazy. years of, of uh, living and this guy ends it with, with this. That oh, sucks. He announces a life and says, well, I'm out, guys. Yeah. Uh, man, it sucks, dude. It's, it's, it happens like that. Like, uh, was it a couple of years ago? Remember the one in Arizona? Mm-mm. Where the guy, I think the helicopter or something like that. No, I think he's burning out or something like that. And it catches, and it creates a forest fire or a fire, like <gasps> a yeah, wildfire. And it just, everything goes up in flames, dude. What the hell? Yeah, man. That's crazy, dude. A lot of these, a lot of people don't know, man. If you look type up gender f- gender reveal fail, Fails? man, you'll see a, pff, dude, you, you, you want to entertain yourself with something other than, <laughs> than uh, the, 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 the show you're watching, bro. Watch that one, dude. You, Have you, you guys seen the one where the, I guess the guy's like a boxer? And his girlfriend um, has the mitts on, like the ones where they practice. You know how they, like, when boxers practice hitting, you know, doing the, yeah, the hit hits the and pads. Stuff? Yeah, the pads. So I guess the pads are lined with the powder that's supposed to um, do, like, the color of the gender reveal. Oh, but yeah. this guy's, like, sucking the shit out of her hands. <laughs> and they have to stop him because he's, like, bah, 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 like, really into it. And she's, like, scared ah, and they had to stop him they because the powder never came out they and he was come. just like breaking her hands <laughs> yeah oh man we need to get a pair of those for us a so we can start doing pads. parties <laughs> a pair, a <laughs> pair of pads. <laughs> we gotta start getting a pair of those oh, amber okay. come on you got it we got the russian guy right here in front of us the russian mexican <laughs> the russian mexican oh man to the do that dude <laughs> I don't know what he said. From <laughs> Russia to Sinaloa, dude. Oh. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, but I'm going to laugh. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. pretty cool in Spanish. Yeah. 
That's funny, dude. So yeah. eight years old. Yeah, dude. It's crazy, coming man. to America. Yeah, bro. I freaking dude came over the hill. It's not bad. I, the, my transition wasn't as bad as some people have it nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just had to come run my ass down a hill, get in the car, and I was out. Uh, so my 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 mine was easy. And then uh, luckily, like I said, my mom as I got you know I was in school and doing that stuff. We got my papers and all that stuff. And then my when she got my other brothers, they weren't so lucky because they were already old enough to work. So she told them, like, look, save half of your check, and then I'll start the paperwork process for you. And they're like, no, no, I'll save it on my own. Never did. Really? Okay, yeah. It's like, okay, well, you know, you do your thing. You made your choice, you know. So, Luckily, like I said, I was too young to, you know, have that, cho to have that choice. It was made for me. So, yeah. It's, uh, but it's weird because I tell a lot of people, like, oh, yeah, I'm from, I was born in Sinaloa. They're like, oh, Dennis Papeles, do you have your papers? I'm like, yeah, yes, motherfucker. Like, shit, dude, shit motherfucker. I'm 35 years yeah, old. Of course I do. What the hell? Shit, I wish I was 35 years old, man. Shit. <laughs> I might look it, but I, I don't feel it, dude. Shit. I was just guessing. <laughs> yeah, you guess wrong, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which kind of uh, uh, Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, old, I'm way older than that, man. I'm, I'm 42, dude. Believe it or not. That's the, really? Yeah. That sucks. Do you feel it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel it sometimes and I, and I don't. It just depends on if I get enough sleep. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I feel like I'm 35. And then sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I feel like I'm 49. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like you feel like 35, like the time you wake up until like noon time, you go have your lunch and then you. No, it starts when going I wake down. up, I feel like I'm, I'm, dude, I feel like I'm 49, 50, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes it sense. Takes, yeah, it takes a while to stretch out. And sometimes, like, I'll go to the, like, I have a basketball uh, play on Wednesdays and on Thursdays I wake up and I feel really good, dude. I don't know what the hell it is. And then later on in the day, I feel like crap. But then on Friday, I wake up and I feel like crap. And then later on in the day, I'll feel good, you know? And so it just kind of mm -hmm. goes, you know, back and forth. I seen you post something like that. You go play like basketball at yeah. like midnight or something like that. <laughs> it's a crazy, league. It's a dude. night league. So it starts at, um, I think, six. And mm -hmm. then like the last game is at 10. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. So it's fucking, I'm, I'm not out there playing at fucking 10, 30, 11 o'clock mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, fucking just for the love of the game, bro. For yeah. The love of the game. Yeah. And where's that? Where do you do that? Uh, I play in a uh, city called Kare. It's a small little city. It's okay, it's right next to Bell. Yeah, yeah, right next to exactly. It's the, yeah, so it's uh, I've been doing that for I've been I've playing basketball since I was uh, fourteen. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't know how to play basketball before then. It was just soccer. Yeah, why well, you gotta fucking? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, you being from Sinaloa, dude, you gotta know your roots. Remember, Sinaloenses play baseball. No, he, he's not. The I'm one not from, from Sinaloa. Sinaloa. I thought she. Oh, okay, she's from Sinaloa. Oh, okay, so she yeah. should know that the primary sport in, in Sinaloa is, is baseball. It's baseball, yeah. yeah, yeah, baseball. But the second one is soccer. You know, okay, what I mean? so, baseball. Okay, yeah, baseball, Sinaloa, the rest of the world. Guadalajara soccer, so, soccer, yeah, soccer everywhere football. else. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. which color? I, I didn't. I gotta get to... my stereotypes right. <laughs> I yeah, dude. What the hell, man? <laughs> which color? Uh, yeah, man. I didn't know how to play sports until I was like 13, 14, Any other sports? Mm -hmm. So when I was uh, there, it's it's weird because like I tell people like my learning curve is just kind of like as soon as I get into something, it goes away. I will learn whatever sport it is that we're playing very quick. I adapt. My thing is to adapt mm -hmm. very quick. Same thing with everything in life. Adapt, adapt, adapt. Because if you don't, dude, you're gonna you're gonna lose out. You know. That makes a lot of sense. Baseball. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm just I'm trying to it's process, to process it. it. Yeah, you're yeah, still dude. you're still in the baseball. Yeah, because yeah. when we went to go visit her family in Sinaloa, they're like, all like, they're all. Like, they're all Tomatero stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like even one of her cousins has like a big has, ass TC. Yeah. Tat? yeah. Or yeah. Tomateros. Yeah. He, he oh, has yeah, a, the whole Tomateros. The yeah, whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I have a jersey, by the way. Yeah. My brother just yeah. came down in July. He gave me a couple shirts. Couple yeah. Jerseys. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. Which I remember once in a while, but it's like, yeah. I went to, we went to a game when he came over here and um, I was walking and uh, which kind of, um, I hear from the, my son actually heard it. Uh, which kind of, some guy said, he goes, go oh, Tomateros. I was like, I was like, oh shit. And my son was like, oh, the guy's calling you. I was like, what? And I turned around, he had the same type of jersey. I'd be like, oh, I was like, kind of, he wasn't even watching anymore. I was like, all right, cool, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Because I remember I, um, when I was working in, like, the event industry, Yeah. Uh, one of the venues that I was working at, like, I was helping uh, managing some of the, like, the food yeah. area. And it was during the time where this venue was housing the, the migrant children during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I had a TC hat on, and one of the kids, he like, he's like, "Oh, tamateros!" Like, and blah, blah, blah. like he was doing a his Spanish thing. It was a Tom Clancy hat. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow Six. Uh, yeah. And, uh, 
but uh yeah he pointed out my hat and i was like oh yeah yeah, yeah that's cool, that. man. but yeah it was uh it was weird but um <laughs> baseball okay baseball, yeah, baseball sinaloa soccer the rest of the world yeah okay <laughs> no kilos here that that it's that, uh, another part of sinaloa <laughs> <laughs> have you been there uh since like uh, how often yeah, do you go? I would go there all the time. Yeah. Like, and my mom would send me with someone else's uh, a birth certificate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my mom would send me over there. It's weird, man, because she signed me up to school here and all that stuff. And I was going to school. And the elementary I would go to was two months on, one month off. Two months off, one month off. Mm. And she would send me over there for that month. She would sign me up to school. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I'm coming over here for vacations and I'm going back to school. I was like, what the <laughs> <laughs> So it happened all the way till. Till I hit, I think, sixth grade. Like, I told my mom once, like, why are you putting me in school? Like, you know, it, I'm not, I'm only going to be there for a month anyways. It's like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And after a while, she kind of got it. It was like, oh, okay, yeah, stop. Even the teachers were like, if you don't, you know, si no la if you don't do your homework, then that's fine. You know, si no la tarea, está bien. Which kinda, I was like, all right, cool. So I got to mess around. And just sometimes I would work, you know, here and there, kind of like want to learn here things. But for the most part, I already, I already knew how to read, write, and freaking spell it, you know, in the, mm -hmm. in the language. So I kind of, everything else kind of just came by word of, like, growing up there. Which got it, uh, yeah, but it was still going back and forth. And then once I got, like, my paper, she would send me, you know, with my papers. Like, in junior high school and high school, it's four months on, two months off. And it's like that. And so she would have me four months here or whatever. And she would send me two months with my dad or my tia, my aunties, to live over there. So I was like, dude, it was it was best of fucking times bro because i'm like unhinged you're going mm -hmm. to your your uh, my dad worked you know day in day out and then uh my tias you know my aunties took care of me here and there but for the most part i was on my own and i still had a bunch of my friends that i grew up with so i was like dude it's adventure time bro fucking let's go fuck around you know what i mean that's what i would do for two months i'd fucking i'd wake my ass up you know fucking shower get ready and go have adventures man fucking uh and it's weird because over there in mexico you go to school either in the morning or in the afternoon so I would have two different sets of friends, man. So uh, like I said, yeah, I would have adventures with my friends in the morning. And then when the ones in the afternoon would come out, I would have adventures with my friends in the afternoon. So it was like, you know, just all just fucking chaos, bro. That's all it was. Damn, dude. And that's going back and forth from back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. From the United States and yeah, to here. Doesn't yeah, it yeah. give you yeah. like a like a different appreciation of like both places? Cause I, I did the same, but in Ensenada. My mom's from Ensenada. Mm -hmm. And that's where I was sent on my vacations was okay. in Sanada. And then I would come back uh, Christmas, things like that. I would go and come back. So I have friends, too, that I grew up with in the neighborhood with my aunt and stuff like that. And I think it just gives you this different perspective of, like, being in both places. Like, it's cool. It's a, it's a cool experience. Like you're saying, like, you would just go out there and adventure and, and friends and things like that. And it, it's... It's yeah, cool. it give, it gives you a whole different perspective because um, uh, growing up I didn't really have much, and then you know when I was a little bit older, my mom would give me money, so I could have that. She would either send it to my aunties, and they would kind of give me here and there, or she would give it to me all, and then I have to kind of budget myself. And so I was like, okay, well now I have actual, you know, shoes that I could run around in, sort of. Because I was still wearing like super cheap Spalding shoes, dude. It was like the, it, within a month. By the time I come back, I need new shoes. Which gotta, <laughs> but I had shoes. So which gotta, I had shoes. I had clothes that I could wear. I had money in my pockets and, you know, and I had freedom. So I was like, dude, it's just, you know, everywhere. But when I was a little kid, I didn't have any of that because I grew up crazy, low, medium, freaking uh, almost impoverished. It was kind of uh, growing up. So it's like, okay, now you see, you go from being in this status to in this status even when i came over here i wasn't really all that much but it's like i still had a clean clothes and you know i lived in the u.s you know i had a little bit better upbringing and then i would go back over there when i was a teenager and it was like okay well now i'm taking you know what i got here and then on to to over here where i was like i said more impoverished where i didn't have any money to now i have money and i have freedom i could do whatever the hell i want were the locals there in Sinaloa, did they treat you differently because you lived in the U.S. and you just came uh, to visit? No. It was just, no, I grew up with all of them, bro. So yeah. it's like, yeah, they, they, you know what? They would treat me like, hey, son goes back. You know what I mean? Like, they, you know, it's out of the soul, so it's not mm. time to fuck around. Which, cause that's all it was. But, like, the adults, nah, they would just be like, oh, you know, he came back. They would be surprised because I would, you know, keep coming back, you know? So, oh, yeah. Because a lot of the times, like, people grow up and they go back less and less and less. You know what I mean? For me, throughout my whole teenage life, I kept going back every either two months or four oh, months. Oh, that's you know? cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I would always, you know, no matter what, like, if they stopped seeing me, they'd be like, oh, he's going to come back, you know what I mean? Until I was a little bit, maybe like in my 
twenties, you know what I mean? I stopped but that happened where it stopped going, you know, less and less and less. But yeah, for throughout the whole time I was like fucking just <laughs> fucking a menace, dude. <laughs> it was just Have your kids experienced going out there? My son, I've taken my son there twice, but no, he hasn't experienced it the way I experienced it. I, I, I yeah, I gotta keep him. Now it's different because there's fucking bullets flying twenty four seven. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. did you grow up in the city or in a rancho? No, I grew up in a in a town that was a rancho. Okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a little ass town. It's a sugar uh, mill town that oh, was. Okay. Uh, it was created by Americans. They made a mill, and uh, so it needed workers. So all the people around there. It was first, uh, like I said, it turned into a ranch, and then it kind of grew up bigger and bigger. Until Wait, it, it was down. a sugar mill? Yeah, it was a sugar mill for, for uh, sugar here in America. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, it, is. it was like one of, I think like a handful of them, but like a small, small handful in, I, I want to say, all of Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, right there, they made it there. And so I think it was, I want to say it was the last one or one of the last ones that was closed, that was still working at the time. Because I think they closed in like the... Late '90s, early early 2000s, and which, but by then we're already in, you know, kind of just it's a, a town, you know. So we really, we really didn't need it as much. Just the older people that were like in pension plans for them, you know, kind of still needed it, mm -hmm. but they were pretty much, you know, phased out because they were already old or dead or you know what I mean. Yeah, so that was pretty much it. That's super interesting about the. I, I'm still stuck on the sugar mill thing because yeah, bro, they, that was the main thing to do there. You know what I mean? Yeah, because those things started popping up around like the early 50s and 60s yeah. in uh central america and mexico yeah they started moving them closer and closer and closer yeah the from the last time when i read about uh the this specific uh sugar factory in it was somewhere in in central central america and um the I believe it was a CEO mm -hmm. was also the head of the CIA during that time. Oh damn. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. He had mills in Cuba, uh, Mexico, Cuba, a oh, uh, sugar mill. Yeah. Fuck, dog. Back that in the sixties. Yeah. Was sugar, dog. I know. That was, that was booger sugar. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see now, Lord, too. <laughs> hey man, why you gotta damn, why you gotta bring up old stuff, man? That's checked up. <laughs> Cause we gotta say what it is. It's not like that anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah. they changed. No, because they they because the sugar mills went down. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they had to find something else to supplement. Yeah, that's true. Money. The country's money. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's tough. Yeah, which got it. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. crazy, man. Because like I said, I, growing up, I like I didn't really pay attention. I was just a little kid. I was like, whatever, you know. They had yeah. other different jobs all over the place, and it's funny because down the street where I lived, you would have these. Uh, tractor trailers that they would pull these carts uh with wheels on them you know and had wood and had like wooden sticks on top and it had a bunch of um sugar cane on them a bunch of sugar canes on them just stacked on top that they would cut down to take to the sugar mill and so we're freaking little kids we would see them pass by and we get all excited dude because we grab onto uh the last cart we grab onto a piece of freaking uh, sugar cane cool. and it would be four or five of us hanging on for dear life you <laughs> know what i mean or it'd be two three of us grabbing onto a bunch of different ones try to pull out one or two or whatever so when we could we pull off one uh, we like hell yeah you know we get a knife and cut it open and we just share you know freaking a, a sugar cane all around so we're like so we're just as my also like dude whatever, wherever there's a, a chance to gain something dude we're fucking doing it. yeah <laughs> gil do you know how to eat a sugar cane uh, you just eat it like a like a popsicle, right? Like a, yeah, you use your mouth first, though. Yeah, yeah, I believe I, I yeah, chew I, it with my throat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta chew it. Uh, you gotta take out the freaking the hard uh, uh, do you, shell on the outside. Do you like uh, like shave it? No, like just, like grate it like a piece of cheese. Well, you no. gotta you gotta take off the outside. Right? It's the brown, hard. right? Yeah. It's like brown and it looks like a no. cone. No. No. no, can you look it up? Sugar cane, what? What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> sugar cane is a hard shell on the outside. Once you cut it open, it it's like white, like a, yeah, like a like creamy, a creamy white looking. Yeah, I'm thinking of like a, you're, it, you're it's a cone of, um, and it looks brown. You're thinking of piloncillo. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? Piloncillo. <laughs> You you are you, that's the like, watch. I'm sure that's not right. even a fruit or a, or a vegetable. Or a, uh, see that right sugar there? Sugar cane yeah. juice. Sugar yeah, cane yeah. juice. Sugar cane yeah, juice. Yeah, different. Well, we used to get Is that it? Yeah, th ones, this yeah. one's like a like more that Asian. One, yeah, there you go. That's uh, the one right there. Like this one. Or yeah, I see like a creamy white. Man, they're so sweet, bro. They're crazy. <laughs> Made my uh, mouth water. Eesh, man. Este, uh, there's a joke in there, but I'll just leave it on. It's uh, <laughs> cut it out. Yeah, just, that's all it was. Just grab those suckers, take off that peel, bro, and just start going, going to town on them. 
a, a bar would probably last you a good 15 minutes excuse me a bar would last about a good 15 minutes because you're chewing it like it's it's you can't swallow that mm. that stuff in there so you it, take yeah, this off right you have to chew it, chew the, the juice out of it and then you spit out the rest mm-hmm. sugar want. cane juice you're talking about this what am I talking about watch <laughs> you're talking pilon silo silo uh, oh uh, yeah, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on the screen oh, so we man. can show people. You use that in, in Café de Olla. You put yeah, cinnamon and piloncillo, and you're you're set to go. What is that? That sugar, no? It's yeah, sugar. sugar. Yeah, it's it's, it's like cooked, brown it's sugar. cooked sugar and then molded into that. It's into the pocho like sugar. No, it's a no, Mexican it's, it's sugar. A Mexican. Yeah, oh, that's okay. what you would make in the in the molino, like a, the the sugar mill. Mm-hmm. You would make piloncillo. Mm. You, See, you but would it's have to, brown sugar, yeah. Yeah, you oh, have it's to brown press and sugar cook it and all that stuff. Yeah, and freaking, you just you just cook it. It just cooks brown. That's all it is. Once you put it in, in heat, it cooks brown. So, do they have stores that sell the See, regular you, cane sugar? Oh yeah, yeah, dude, everywhere. I think you can even buy them like at Northgate. Really? Yeah, yeah, you can buy oh, them. Northgate yeah. has everything. They have guitars there. It's fucking <laughs> weird. It's crazy. <laughs> it's do. like it's yeah. all Central American and Mexican put to to in one. Have you been in one? Hell yeah, dude! I live Fuck, one. dude! They remodeled them, so now they sell hot foods. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's oh yeah, we went the other day. It is fucking wild. I feel like I'm in a mall. Yeah, bro, because it's it is, dude. They got all kinds of different fruits and all kinds of different vegetables, and I'm like, hell yeah, dude, it's badass, man. You can make your own guacamole in there, dude. Yeah, yeah dude, that's freaking. There's a different couple <laughs> different ones. There's like. I think like seven, eight different guacamole is the uh, um, tr- sauces, which got it. Uh, so you can, it's not just a regular brown. Like you can make a green one. You can make an almond one. You can make um, man. There's a, there's a bunch of different uh, uh, mole sauces, dude. The, the no, 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 can... guacamole bar. Oh, waka- oh, guacamole yeah. bar. Guacamole, yeah, mole. Yeah, it's mole with guacamole. Yeah, it's the, uh, you can? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because yeah, it's there's the, a lady yeah. yeah, there's a lady. Yeah, right. I'm like, right. what the fuck yeah, is going right. on? Well, she's already made, I? but she just put it in the cup for you, right? And no, no, no. She has well, like, um, yeah. Like, remember those um, salad bars they used to have like at school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she has something like that in front. And she has like jalapeno. Like, she has all these ingredients that you would want to put. put it into the mojajete. Yeah, mojajete. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, shit. More salt, more salt, less yeah. salt. Let, yeah. I, there you go, right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not that's too much tomato. Takes them off like that. Yeah. <laughs> but we have a bone to pick with Northgate at the moment. I do. Why is that? Right? Because so we seen the beer order. We seen one price at like it was five ninety nine for how many ounces? It was a uh, sixteen no, it, ounce it cup. Just, or something like that? It just it was just the price, mm-hmm. right? It was just the price. No, but it did say for the which ounce of the cup it said. Right. So. Me, I'm thinking, okay, they're going to weigh this thing at the end. <laughs> and I just put my one scoop, and yeah, I'm done, right? But Amber, she was like, no, fill it to the top. Like, you, st- what are you doing? Like, because the she price. Was, she was telling me that I was doing it wrong, right? No. You're like a Slurpee cup? You know, that thing that kind of goes over, the, and then you want to fill it up more to like. No, so no. so the cup, so it's cups, right? So yeah. it's like 16, and then like 24, like one of these. Mm-hmm. and then like a tray, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So the price thing that they had was at the top mm-hmm. and then it said 16 ounce 5.99 yeah you know 24 ounce 10.99 and then the plate 13 something yeah what what does that make you think it's it should have been a dollar 25 a pound or An whatever ounce. the the ounce is or whatever right yeah, yeah so but no this said the cup and the price so i saw him put one scoop and i'm like well if they're gonna fucking charge us the whole cup well for that one the... price might as well fill it up <laughs> yeah, yeah so i told him no fill it up they're gonna charge us 5.99 for the entire cup uh-huh. well i was wrong i went up to the fucking <laughs> fucking 50 dollar <register laughs> chile and it was like 12 dollars and i was like what the fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah we're probably just like man that's like seven chilaquiles how the fuck like you know seven fucking yeah. pounds of that shit how am i supposed to even finish it <laughs> usually you get what you're gonna eat bro right. <laughs> you know? that, that's like, what i'm saying but like, i have extra room i just <laughs> Actually, well, I brought I, my I own bag. Sharing. I brought oh, my own right. bag. <laughs> like uh, that uh, 7-Eleven, when it's 7-Eleven day, they let you bring in whatever you want and you can just yeah, fill yeah. it up. It's a big ass fucking three liter of shit. Northgate needs that. <laughs> the e-glue the would just kids. fill that out. It's just like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, dude, that that's uh, the bone to pick with uh, yeah, Northgate. Northgate. We're coming for you. <laughs> no, yeah. Get your price right. Right. And then your I was embarrassed once wrong, I got... price Bob. <laughs> once I got to the front, I was embarrassed because I was like, they're going to have to throw us away if I say I don't want it. I don't want to be that person. So yeah, I fucking paid $20 dude. for a cup of chilaquiles and, and papa con chorizo. It was $30. Well, wow, it was 30 with the tamales. Best, 30 oh, yeah. bucks. And it must have been the best chilaquiles I've ever done. No, they weren't good. They're okay. That's what hurt me the most. That they weren't even they that weren't good. They weren't even good. Like, sons of bitches. You're all even like, fucking just like, they hate these damn... Yeah, and bitches. I had them for lunch, yeah, too. You know, for good. breakfast I and lunch. Love. I had to yeah, have them. Yeah, yeah, 20 yeah. bucks. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, well, but at least you got tamales. You could just mix it with the chilaquiles and be like, all right. That's what I did. Yeah. yeah. So you did like some a more sand. salsa in there. It's just like... But then you got to waste more money on the salsa. It's like, oh, dude, damn it. You know? <laughs> yeah, they get you because you want everything. And then you're just like grabbing and grabbing and grabbing. And then you go to the cash register and they're like yeah, everything in there but that's how it is with every store bro you go to Costco you think I'm gonna get some waters and then before you leave it, like how the fuck did I spend 250 bucks on like 7 items you know? <laughs> and, you're like, and none of them are water walking like, out with sweatpants <laughs> Costco sweatpants yeah like oh shit now I gotta go back and actually get some waters like damn dude yeah what do I need foot cream like what the fuck man <laughs> yeah, right. I'm in a wheelchair what the shit <laughs> <laughs> that's why I do uh, online for my groceries because I get what I gotta get and I don't see anything else that's smart. It's very smart. I'm still the dumbass that goes to Costco and fucking leaves with fucking in debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I well, can't. That's why you have a credit card, dude. Just run up the credit card Jesus and... Jesus Christ. Uh, more that's credit it. cards. I'm, I'm already way up in, in more up, my, up to my ass in debt, bro. I was like, shit, man. There you go. Cool. Sam's got his He's like, you need up, one man. more case of water. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. And I go in there, like I said, I'll come up with fucking ice cream. He's like, what the fuck? This is even... I can't even drink this shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's all Metamucil. And he's like, yeah, I'm not even there Metamucil? yet. Metamucil? What the fuck? The hell am I going to use this? Centrum Silver? Like, this is for people who are 55 fucking vitamins. Like, shit. <laughs> A carton of cigarettes. I don't yeah, even carton. smoke. I don't even smoke. It's like a family shit. pack of suppositories. Yeah, yeah. Like, suppositories. There was a good deal on it. <laughs> yeah. okay. Tampons? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> at this oh. point you're just like grabbing whatever the hell you just can reach for it looks yeah. like a game show uh one of those fucking breads. but there's a science to it i'm pretty sure there's a science to like the architecture inside the store that just manipulates yeah. our yeah, yeah. subconscious yeah, of course, to man. purchase you, you swear there's billion dollar companies I yeah know, get, get a couple of you know freaking psychiatrists psychologists be like hey we need you to put these you know items mm -hmm. in in specific order so people want them you know what i mean little by little there's actually yeah. uh, a thing on can we look it up about colors in restaurants yeah to keep you eating have you seen oh, really? the yeah. aldi Pull it up. you know aldi the the grocery store yeah they were talking about how aldi is kind of structured to where you're still gonna purchase but you're not over purchasing like oh, i don't really? know aldi has this like whole like Cult. better no no it's like saying like it's just shop better to shop there shop they don't have music so there's nothing that's like music they say that also yeah, entices. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. i'll show you guys that video right now but what do you want me to check <laughs> they want you to get the fuck out of there <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it <laughs> And then they Shop do like, at Aldi. They do like larger uh, barcode so that their um, their cashiers can cash out faster. So that's not like oh, you're doing. Uh, there's yeah, uh, like I'll look for this. the damn barcodes. Yeah. Like oh, and then it's shriveled sometimes. Like fuck, I gotta freaking untribble it. It's yeah. inside the bag, but it's a paper. It's like ah, oh, crap. Seven minutes. They want later. your money, money only. They they don't want you to hang out at their store. Yeah. About you, they just want you to buy. Oh, there it is. Out. Yeah, that that pinwheel that's picture right there. The cutter. Yeah. What's that? Can you uh, enlarge that? Why does green still mean horny? What the fuck, dude? You go to a restaurant and they have another but green. That means germs, right? I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't zoom in. No? Uh, That's as far okay. as I go. Lame. Wow, dude, I could do it right here. What did I say? Yellow means makes one very happy and energetic. Green means green in feelings of healthy diet. Oh, yeah. Energy. Yeah. Perfect. Amber, can you read it? Because he's like... <laughs> 20 sorry, sorry. miles away from the microphone. <laughs> Purple's associated with... Purple is associated with not so popular not so food, popular so eggplants, foods. red onions, and purple cabbage. Ah, okay. um, yeah. Blue calms the body, um, thus indicating what sleep. Sleep. Um, the green indicates like healthy, abundance. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yellow makes people yeah. happy. I mean, it, it makes sense. There's a whole science. What is it? What, what's the red one? 
blood, blood pressure. pressure. Holy shit. Heart rate and thus increasing That hunger. makes a lot of sense. If you're, you're over you 45. You know, yeah. like red sauce, like, oh, crap. It, you know, you're like, you're like oh, oh, my pool more. is going to burn like, again. <laughs> like, oh, crap. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why restaurants have those. Heck yeah, dude. What is gray again? What does that mean? Gray is repels one repels one from the thought of food. Oh, so okay. don't have gray if you're, yeah, no, if you're so a I'm restaurant. gonna paint yeah. our fridge gray. And what is black? <laughs> what is black? Causes what? Black causes the appetite to diminish. Oh, oh that's, yeah. that looked like diabetes from over here. I was like, that's wrong because our fridge is black. No wonder all those buffets are all, have all kinds of black all over them, dude. <laughs> like, oh shit! Like you pay fifty bucks and yeah. you're like, oh, I only want you to eat one plate, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're at the at the dessert bar, it's all black. Like, oh crap! Yeah, nah, I don't want any of this stuff. Nah, yeah, all the mind. chitlins are gone. It's crazy. <laughs> chitlin? What, what, what kind of buffet are you going, to, bro? They got chitlins, man. <laughs> no, seriously, what kind? Of, like, what, <laughs> uh, no, no. What else? What else? We crazy to stuff, to? dude. Um, so, what color is your uh, barbershop? I'm pretty sure that there's probably colors with uh, with barbershops that you can put in there that would make people want to get their hair cut. Um, so when I started my first one, I had uh, like a light, like a sky blue, a light gray, or a lightish green, mm. and I ended up going with blue uh, because anything like green was a little too off. Uh, and then gray looks too bland. So I was like, all right, I'll put it in blue. So it's like a nice welcoming kind of color, especially the sky blue since it looks nice. I was like, all right. <laughs> and then when I bought the second barber shop. So you have two. Yeah, two. Um, the second one, I already bought it. It was already kind of, I bought off somebody and it was all white. It looks like a hair salon because it's like white on white on white. Even the towels are white. So I was like, all right. So I'm just trying to, um, just like in the first one, I have, uh, I have, um, posters all over the walls and the second one i'm trying to put posters all over the walls as well so it kind of like diminishes just the blandness of just the white you know which color uh, which also is the same thing with the blue like it looks nice but you also want something when they look up they don't just see what blue walls you right know? so which color uh, yeah i seen and i forgot where the hell i saw but like i saw a, a, a barbershop that had a bunch of posters too many posters because there was no space where you could see the wall it was just poster <laughs> on poster on poster there's a poster on like all the mirrors inside the shop <laughs> yeah well, so so i i um I uh, I started set posters in sections. Like one of them was like comic books. Another one was another section was like sports. Another section was uh, movies. Like one wall on one of the walls, it's all movies, dude. Because it's just so many movies out there. Uh, which got it, uh, and I have from seventies, eighties, like nineties, nowadays movies, all kinds of posters like so, that. So, so what came first? Uh, um, the, your... I don't know the chick. People say the <laughs> chicken, but I want to say the egg. <laughs> Um, your barber shops or are you doing comedy? Kind of walk me through oh, your no, timeline of of these things because I, I don't know anything about you. So, <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I'm a human being. Uh, <laughs> I live on this planet called Earth. <laughs> um, been living here since uh, since preconception. Um, no, no. Uh, which color? Uh, since conception. See if you guys didn't get that one. Preconception, like I was a ghost first and said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna put my my ghostly body into <laughs> sperm and then shoot out." No, which color? Uh, uh no i um i was a barber before but uh before that like when i was looking i want to be an actor so which color uh, when i was in in elementary here i was in a couple plays here and there and stuff like that so i kind of like i liked it uh and then from that it was just like growing up especially where i where i grew up in it was a lot of shit talking you know so you had to learn to defend yourself shit, with shit talking then when i became a barber later on uh it's one of those where like all you do is talk shit to each other you know what i mean just fucking what's up you fat bastard like what well, you know it's like yeah. hey dog don't don't talk to me that far dude like your breath fucking smells i can smell it from 30 30 feet away you know what I mean? it's like that and i was like fuck so we just shit on each other back and forth back and forth and uh when i got this barber shop uh i was a fucking master shit talker bro i'm talking about like dude you can put me in the olympics and i'm gonna get you a medal uh which got it uh for my country uh <laughs> yeah dude straight up well which got it uh but um, a friend of mine, Nelson, Nelson Echeverria, shout out Nelson, este, love you, bro. Uh, he is a comedian. He's Salvadorian comedian. And when he came back over here, he came back from France. And he was telling me that um, when I met him, he was saying that he was a, a French comedian. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. And I, before that, I had done a couple of uh, open mics before the, right before the pandemic in Hollywood. And uh, I was like, oh, this is something like I, I could, you know, practice on and kind of do. 
And then when he when after the pandemic happened and he came back over here, um, he's what he told me about the open mics and I was like, yeah, I used to do them before, but he kind of he gave me that push because him being a comedian, like kind of gave me it was almost like a sign, bro. Like, oh, the fucking you know, comedy's this dude's a comedian, you know, it, comedy's coming back. Like this, that's the reason why he walked into to the barbershop. So, um, he had to take off to Puerto Rico to because he wanted to become an airline pilot. And then his homie, Jose, shout out Jose, the Salvadorian pioneer of, uh, the pioneer of Salvadoran comedy. That's what I call him. Uh, which guy has been doing this forever. He was doing an open mic show at um, uh, Beer Thug, which it was a different name before. I'm not going to even shout him out because they're not worth it. Uh, so at Beer Thug. Uh, and I went to the first time he did it. And I was like, yeah, like I, I like it, bro. I like this. pretty cool. So I was just waiting for him to do another another open mic and he was so busy with all kinds of different things and uh after that my homie nelson came back and uh, and uh the open mic show kind of opened up for him to host it every week so he's like yeah i'm gonna be hosting no no open mic every week come down so i was like dude i'm there so every week i was there dude without freaking missing a beat and um that was uh that was this year actually which uh, that happened this whole past year it hasn't even been a year since i've been doing this um and like i said for for me it, it comes like very to me it comes easy because like i said i'm naturally a natural born shit talker fucking uh um and so to be able to do it one-on-one -on -one is very easy and i just was like in my mind i was like well i can transition from one person to five ten fifteen hundred thousand people you know what i mean because now I could talk shit about this guy, about this girl, and this back and forth. Where I could just talk shit about you one on one, you know, and I could talk shit about everybody else. That plus I could have I have ideas or people give me ideas at the barbershop or topics that we talk about and just put them down on paper or on my phone and then come up with the idea of, you know, different skits or bits and all that stuff like that. So which got it um yeah, that's all just happened this this year. Like all like so the whole coming into comedy and all that stuff, man. Uh did that answer the question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah so gonna, but yeah. I, yeah, I've been I've been I've been cutting hair for almost twenty years now. So and then before that my mom cut hair. Like when I was a teenager, it's just I didn't want to become a barber because it, it, my mom's shop was it looked boring when she was doing it. So which got it I tried I, I tried my hand at a bunch of different jobs until I realized like none of them are it. Uh barbering is where it's at. Where what is it about barbering that makes you you know, keep Love doing it. it. Uh, keep being in it, dude. It's that I get to talk to a different person every day, bro. I get to talk to a different person. I get, uh, um, it keeps, it's challenging because it's a different haircut. People think like, oh, you're doing the same haircut. It's like, no, man, because everybody's hair is different. So it's a different person, a different haircut, uh, a different, uh, um, I can talk to them about, you know, different things. So they're different personalities. Give me, you know, keep me um, going when it comes to like, talking about different subjects so it's it's it almost keeps me on my toes because i have to learn about different things you know it doesn't have to be a i don't have to be a master of you know everything it's just a jack of all trades i have to learn a little bit about everything because like i said i want to be able to relate to my customers and when i can't relate to them i just sit listen to them you know what i mean i learn from them and then you know when they come back you know i kind of once i learn some, something about somebody from some something from somebody uh i go into videos like on youtube and i kind of mm -hmm. research it a little bit so i know a little bit more and then when they come back, I could talk to them a little more about, you know, to them about that subject. So that that's why I like it. It just fucking, it, it keeps me on my toes and I fucking love it, man. I, now you build relationships, you build friendships. Uh, which color that dude? It's, I've seen dudes go from from little ass kids to grown ass adults who have kids now, you know what I mean? And then they bring me their kids. So it's it's it's, uh, it's a cool ass dynamic, you know what I mean? I, I love it. It just, there's, there's no, I don't think there's any other job in the world that lets you do this where... You can have your TV on, you can have the radio on, you can talk shit to somebody. Uh, you're looking out into the outside world because barbershops are, you know, close to the streets uh, and you're getting paid for it. Too. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's fucking badass. You know yeah, it's I mean? either a barbershop owner or uh, an associate from Walmart or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> associate. But even then, dude, people are like, hey, hurry up, man. You're not going to back my shit up. Like, True. Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, dude, when you're well, sitting in my chair, you're at, you're at the mercy. <laughs> you're at the mercy of me. You know right. what I mean? Because I decide how fast or how slow I go. You know what I mean? If you piss no, me off, true. bro, you're going to get a fucked up haircut. Have not you ever right. fucked anyone's hair up? On purpose, no. Never. Not on accident. purpose. Yeah. On accident? Uh, yeah, yeah, what yeah. was what was that like? <laughs> uh, what, uh, fucking on purpose? Uh, yeah. I mean, an accident? An accident. Um, 
so I've gotten I've gotten ones where like a person will tell me, hey, can you do this type of haircut? I'm like, all right, cool. So then I do it and they're like, no, that's not what I meant. And I'm like, okay, that's not my fault. It's not oh, a fuck shoot. up, but it's just not my fault. You know what I mean? <laughs> so as though it's Well, whose fault was it? The person. Like, let's say oh. you tell me, like, can you give me a one and a zero? Or mm-hmm. uh, or can you tell me like or you tell me like can you can you bald it? And I'm yeah. like, All right, cool. So <laughs> which color? But I'll always ask them. That's why I learned I learned. So when you tell me you want a certain haircut, I repeat it back to you. Which color? So you tell me, and then I tell you, and then before I start, so you're gonna get this and this and this, right? And he goes, yeah. So that's three times we were agreed on what heck <laughs> you're getting. So if something comes out differently, like I said, if I do differently, it's no longer my fault, buddy. You know what I mean? Because you told me you, I repeated it to you, and then before I started to, you, I we confer- concurred on the haircut. And so which color? Yeah, I learned because before, like I said, somebody tell me like, oh, okay, you do this, 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 and like, okay. And then just start doing it. And I'd be like, no, that's not what I want. And I'd be like, oh, crap. You know, I'm like, uh, you cut on. So then I got to redo the haircut or something like that. So now it's like, all right, cool. Well, you know, I gave you what you wanted. Now you want something different. I'm going to have to charge you for it, you know, because it's now you're wasting my time, which got it. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, the one time I did mess up a person's hair on accident, it was this young kid. He was um, he was out of it, bro. He was on something, man. His mom took him to get a haircut. He got like a. A one, a zero on the mm-hmm. sides, but he got it with the shave, with the blade. And um, I know what the, he had gaps right here on the sides. So mm-hmm. it's like like the, the side came outward. So it like goes down and it pops out. So I was doing it with the blade. I was shaving him and I caught a, like a gap, like, you know what I mean? Where it goes, where it kind of goes inward. And you know, like just, a gap in his head? Yeah, you know, your head's not completely round sometimes. Uh-huh. Like, you, these muscles, you know, sometimes you oh, know, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. Chew, they, they pop out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what it was. These muscles were, like, more muscular than anything else. So uh-huh. they were out. Oh. So when I'm shaving them, dude, I'm when I'm shaving them, you know, I catch that fucking muscle and I slice them, dude. Oh. Ooh. Ask me if the dude flinched, blinked, looked, or did anything yeah, other than this look. <laughs> <laughs> he was just watching TV. He was, I'm telling you, he was out, out of it, dude. And I go, shit. I go, fuck, dude. So I. Meanwhile, I there's gallons of blood like, flooding out of this dude's fucking, fucking temple. Like, like that, dude. You're all Sweeney Todd. <laughs> yeah, like, Sweeney Todd. Like, like, well, you're, I might as well just kill you now. Yeah. Which <laughs> you need to just slice his throat. Yeah. And you're like, well, well, this one's done right next. <laughs> <laughs> which color? No, no. no. Which color? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, which color? Uh, what's the trash can? The uh, kid was on drugs, so uh, it's okay. Yeah, but dude. But it's crazy because, like, I sliced him, but he didn't start bleeding right away. Uh, which color? It takes a while. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you, know, you have to get oxygen. Thank Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which got it, uh, so I um I got a napkin real quick. I wet it and then I put this uh, called it's a sept- it's a septic powder, mm. which got it to kind of burns away the cut. So I just put it on him he, again. Didn't blink, bro. Didn't even flinch, man. It was just watch the TV. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. And I told the mom, I'm sorry, miss. I I I, I gashed him. You know, I'm sorry. The blade <laughs> gashed him. Yeah, which got it, uh, I, I cut him. You know, freaking uh, the the blade got cut into his, his uh, side muscle and just like I, I cut him by accident. <laughs> it was weird and, head. Dude, and she, bro, he, she was like, ah, don't worry about it. He, he didn't even, yeah, she she noticed it. And which color? She's like, I don't even think he noticed. And I was like, all right, cool. So I kind of just she's stopped. Like, can the you bleeding. cut those pieces off? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a, like a, a full on design. Like, oh, just, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it the lightning strike. Uh, which color? Uh, yeah. So I stopped the bleeding, man. And uh, the kid just f- didn't even phase him, bro. He fucking when I was Dang. done with the whole haircut, and I was almost done with it too, man. I was yeah. like, I just needed this side right here. That's it. And that's where I fucking got him. So I finished the shave. I had to change the blade, of course. I finished the shave. Uh, I hit him with the uh, the aftershave and everything, dude. Mm-hmm. Didn't feel a thing because you have to remember I shaved them on the side, so I have to aftershave the whole side to to uh, kill the germs. And which got it on. Had nothing, man. He got up, just fucking said thank you, walked out. <laughs> Mom still paid me, dude. I was like, uh, all right, dude. She Thanks just, for cutting him, and she tipped you extra uh, for that. She tipped me <laughs> extra. I was like, it's a hundred dollar bill, miss. She's like, shh. I like uh, <laughs> uh, you didn't kill him, yeah, but yeah, you... like, uh, yeah. As she walk, he walks in front of her and she's like, "Yeah, you son of a yeah, which color?" <laughs> like you got him for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah You're like yeah. same time next week. The yeah. same time. <laughs> we'll get the other side. Same blade, please. <laughs> like, uh, uh, have you ever had anyone go in with uh, piojos with lice? Oh, that was going to be my next oh, question. We are in sync. In uh, sync. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, no. oh, the other in sync. Yeah. Oh, sorry. because uh, you're on your period. Asked, oh, that's well, true. Yeah, I saw you blushing a little bit. Like you were a little moody when I saw you. Like, oh, crap, dude, what's going on, bro? Do you, do you need a cranberry juice or hungry or what's up, man? Oh, it's gonna, uh, I'm on my period, not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cranberry juice is for a UTI. 
Oh yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> so I'm pregnant. I have a UTI, yeah, right, and I'm right, on my period. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. And you're also hungry because you got. Oh, there you go. Uh, <laughs> <'Cause I'm fat. laughs> uh, no, I never had um, anybody come in with uh, lice. Well, that I could. Uh, one time there was this um, this vagrant dude who had just come from Mexico and the shop that I used to work at in Downey. And um, shout out Campos Barber Shop, by the way. Um, and uh, the owner was like, the guy was just outside asking for change. And the owner was like, nah, you know, I, I don't have change, but I'll cut your hair, bro. You need a haircut? Which guy like, goes, yeah, but he's kind of scratching himself. And the, and the owner's like, wait, wait, do you have, do you have piojos? He's like, was, yeah, pussy. You know, it's like, oh. oh so like, oh, I, I can't cut it. He's like, oh, okay. So he just, he's, you know, we scraped up freaking, you know, a couple of dollars to each one of them. There you go, you know, on your way. And which we just couldn't. Just can't, bro. You, you take a big ass risk. One of them flies. You can just see it, bro. It, it's game over for the rest of the barbershop. Um, on your way to supercuts, buddy. Uh, not even supercuts, bro. You have to, you have to get a separate pair of machines, bro. And in the alley, on the next block, bro. You know what I mean? Because, mm-hmm. like I said, the the lice do they travel, bro? They jump way the hell out. You know, if one jumps, do they jump? Yeah, bro. They fucking Google lice. that. I gotta find out if they jump or not. You looked over here like I've had lice before. <laughs> You're the one in control of the Google, oh, got it. ma'am. Mm-hmm. I was like, I've never had lice in my life. When I ask questions, that means I'm gonna <laughs> Google it. Yeah, well, it's Leandres Piojos freaking uh This crazy. When I was a little kid in Mexico. Um, uh, they used to, you know, the ladies around there, all the senoras used to check you for for all the night. Oh, look at head lice have no wings and air. do not fly oh, they or run jump. Through air, fuck, dude, that's crazy, bro. Fucking very Jordan esque. Yeah. Oh, okay, so they don't, they don't jump; they just run. That's fucking crazy, dude. They run through air, bro. That's yeah. some kind of Jesus type of shit, dude. Yeah. How do they run? To the offspring of Jesus, dude. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what he just yeah. now, dude. That's Jesus is back. In the form of lice. <laughs> yeah, see, out, dog. <laughs> well, we're getting canceled real quick on this one. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, did you hear what he said? He said those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had to like. It was a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Someone. You have to headbutt somebody, dude. Fucking, you hear the crunch, too. Ugh, yeah. Ugh, ugh. Those things are crazy, good. dude. Yes, I did not know, man, that they ran. I thought they jumped, dude. They fucking run, yeah. dude. That's crazy, man. They perform miracles. Yeah, dude. They're that's Mexican. A, that, yeah, big time. Bro, <laughs> they gotta run a, through. They run through. <laughs> fuck, dude. That's fucking <laughs> bonkers, bro. That's, they're the yeah. Usain Bolt of fucking... Of, of, uh, you try to kill them, they sleep for three days, and yeah, then they they, they, up. Yeah, they rise you have to after the third day. You have to, like, pop yeah, you have to pop them, man. Yeah. Got it, uh, yeah, when I was a little kid, we used to get checked uh, 24-7 by the senoras, like around the block, be like yeah. uh, across the street, one house, two houses over. Uh, this lady that owned the store, she's very, very good friends with my dad and uh, my mom as well, just when she was there. Um, and so every once in a while, she would call me over like, oh, Sergio, man, you know. So I was like, oh, you keep us on. She would have me, though, send that thing. I was like, oh, crap. Like, I already knew what she was going to do. So she would freaking, you know, put me in and start, you know, checking me for mm-hmm. lice. Like, oh, for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20. I didn't even know how this little kid, probably within five minutes. Uh, but it, would, it felt like forever, bro. She would check me for lice, be like, okay. You to put and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Freaking, uh, I was like, all right. Cool. But luckily, luckily, man, I, I, I don't know what the hell, what it is. I never got lice, even though the neighbors that live next to us, a bunch of those kids had lice dude it's really just, yeah, bro. so you would see them like you know when they had lice when they had uh, when they balded them you know what mm. i mean because it's even the girls that they live next door dude they were just yeah. like they, they balded them you know that's because they had lice so you have to wash them out and do all kinds of freaking net cheesos and you hit them with the you know bushes and you know freaking all that stuff burn sage around their their head <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I, I i don't know man but yeah it was crazy dude it was it's some wild ass time too and i was a little kid it's <sighs> <laughs> but I never, I never, uh, there, there's right there, little look, there's right there. Are oh, you scared of it? I heard him. Yeah, right the, uh, no, no, you're too Wait, slow. You, no, I got him. Oh, you got yeah, him. Oh, I got right him. Between your fingers. All right. Right. Oh, and the ring finger, too. <laughs> oh, it's just like Burger King. Dang. No, gonna... what, like, what would you do in that situation if something happened like that? Say a 12 year old kid comes into your, your shop, he has, he has I, long I, hair. I, you can't, you can't get the hair. <laughs> Yeah, he has long. He hair. has long hair. Look about my build. Who was that? Uh, we saw uh, Aries. Remember we saw the video of the little kid that had the. Oh, was it you? It had like that Edgar haircut and had long hair, and it kind of opened it up and had a bunch of lice in it. Oh, cause somebody, had, somebody had shown me a video like that with a little <laughs> kid with the Edgar haircut and his uh-huh. hair was too long on top, and like they were gonna cut it. Sorry. Yeah, and they kind of spread it open and had a bunch of lice. I was just like, ah, really? Shit. Yeah, I was like, damn, that is, dude. But yeah, you're not supposed to cut it because. 
um, what happens is, like I said, if one lice, you know, jumps onto the barber or another customer, dude, mm. you know I mean, it's fucking lawsuits on lawsuits on lawsuits, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. Some people won't give a shit. No, fuck that, it. dude. Uh, uh-uh, uh, you. Cannot, yeah, I tell this for hey, When somebody comes in with with lice, bro, do not cut the hair. I'm sorry if you have to be rude or they don't understand. Mm-hmm. It's like, dude, this, this is my business, and if I right. get sued for any of that stuff like that, dude, I am royally fucked well the lady at supercuts back in 2004 did not give a fuck because she continued to cut my hair oh well yeah. you had lice and all that stuff yeah oh, in 2004 <laughs> fuck dude Damn, you were what 27 years no i want to say no. two, uh, <laughs> I'm like, hey that's I'm why <laughs> how old are you that's why i keep my hair short now um i was I want to say 13 or 14. That's about the time kids yeah, get aged from about, about 9 to 15, 14. Yeah, it was there. like 2003. Right. Yeah, fuck. That's no, it wasn't 2003. It was get after. Him, it was after. What'd you get? You're rubbing your mom. head on the ground or what? No, just rough, rough uh, living conditions. Uh, okay, you're fucking around the rug, weren't you? Like, yeah. yeah. Rolling <laughs> around, putting my head where it shouldn't supposed to be but yeah, um fucking through through walls like hey what's yeah going on? <laughs> but i the fact is that i knew and i didn't want to go to a haircut place uh, yeah like i knew I, but i didn't know how to tell my aunt like hey what dude with everybody what the fuck yeah. do i say like hey yeah, i have I bugs in my hair yeah, yeah, like yeah, I, I, i'm very very itchy now you got me right. all itchy like fuck the sancudo was a fucking lice that wasn't yeah that wasn't a sancudo bro that was a lice he was running i still have lice since 2004 my george check them out it's uh, <laughs> no but uh yeah she continued to to, to cut to it cut dude it? Yeah, yeah she well, she she started cutting and um she was like whoa like she i <laughs> w- once i felt that back there i was just like oh, okay like i couldn't hold it i just yeah, started yeah. fucking crying dude oh, yeah, yeah i was yeah. so embarrassed yeah, it's, it's it's but it's normal that 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 kind of just oh look at now he changes his tone. <laughs> no, no, he's like, I mean, fuck I that. No, he's if like, I have okay. people, if I have people, like, if I have people like, I'm in my the whole person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gonna, uh, yeah, if I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ruin it. Hey, look at everybody, this fucking kid's got light. No, no, it's gonna, it's, oh, I ain't crying, little light boy. No, no, it's fucked up. <laughs> he said it was normal to get around 13. Yeah, yeah. around those ages, like, no, no, yeah. No, it's, it's like, okay. that's a time where you rough house, you do dumb shit left and right as a kid, you know what I mean? I was 25. You're 25. No. That sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, it's got a uh, rough housing right here in the studio. <laughs> it's got a, no, no. Um, yeah, but it's, it's it's normal for a kid to not want to tell his parents uh-huh. is, you know, yeah. is, 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 th- that that's going on until it's too late. You know what I mean? Yeah. You go get a haircut, you find out, and you're embarrassed, and you start crying from the embarrassment. The thing is, is like, you know, the barber should kind of see it. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. especially if you have, like, if you have long, long hair. Yeah, I had, um, like... Uh, shoulder yeah, length shoulder hair, hair which yeah. Gotta, yeah cause so what happens what I do is I spray water on a, on a customer uh, just a little bit I missed it so they mm-hmm. kind of hair comb, combs in uniform mm-hmm. that's a trick not too many barbers no everybody wants to do it like all like dry it goes you want to spray just, mist it with a mister mm-hmm. just mist it just a little bit so that the hair kind of falls in uniform like it combs in uniform which gotta, and then you comb it once you comb it you should right away be able to tell like mm-hmm. oh there's lice you know what I mean yeah. right away there's no fucking barber that's gonna be like Oh, sit down. Like, all right, cool. Give me this and this. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and then notice it. Fucking mm-hmm. after the third, fourth swipe, it's like, dude, within half an inch or an inch of the swipe, as soon as your as soon as your wrist, you know, is it, it makes the hair visible, you should see it right there. You know, so within I would say two inches, you know, you're looking at it like, oh shit, slice. You know what I mean. But even before that. When you start combing it, you should see it like, oh, this kid's got lice. And right away, you got to tell the parent, mm. like, hey, did you know he's got lice? Or like, you know, tell the kid, you know, did you know? Of course, the kid knows he's got lice. Yeah. He's fucking scratching like at midnight. You know what I mean? They're crazy. I right. just remembered. There's a, um, I want to say that it's called like Hospital de, de Piojos or Piojos? something. Oh, but shit. Mexico made a whole place where you can go and get like the lice, like taking lice out. And it's like, like it. It's kid friendly and stuff like that. I'm gonna look it up so you guys can see it. But... Kid, how do you make a lice hospital kid friendly guy? Come on in, kids. We'll take all those lice for you. All right, dude. You have to ball the kid no matter what. You have to take no, off all the. No, not these to... places. No, they have um because I've seen it on TikTok. Uh-huh. And then they have like like vacuums. Okay, you know like when you go like to go wash your car and Beautiful that vacuum. Hospital. It sounds like General <laughs> Hospital, dude. Yeah. yeah. And they have like the vacuums, the ones where like things can go in, like you know like a like a bigger nozzle. Vacuum. 
vacuum the lice away? Holy and they shit. Put it that, into that your is no wonder they call it a dirt devil, dude. Like that's crazy, man. License oh, look, space. There's, is this one? Yeah, My look. There's one in here and in the removal. in the US. I like how they I like how they they they're it looks nice. Yeah. Like that's that it looks inviting. I just want to get lice. This is so I can go to that place. <laughs> no, oh, please. That's crazy though. Look at the treatment. They got Life. like four bottles. You got to use them like all at once or like little by little. Oh, or... just do it yourself. Oh, yeah, okay. Do know. it yourself. That's crazy, man. It's like I've seen like the, there's videos sometimes where like they show these dudes that have like dry hair, dry scalp. Mm -hmm. And that comes from, from showering with hot water, bro. You, you shower with hot water and you get out into the, into the air and it dries your scalp. Dude. You just always tell a lot of people, a lot of my customers, when they're starting to get like around these times, when it gets, well, not these times, these times freaking hot, but when it usually starts to get cold, everybody starts showering with hot water, hotter water. Mm -hmm. So I tell them when you're done, turn on the, 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 the shower head on cold and just kind of, you know, freaking run it over your head to cool your head down, which got it. Uh, and of course nobody does it, but, um, which got it. That's what I, that's what I do. Freaking, uh, you know, just cools your head down and freaking, uh, you know, just kind of, rinse it off you know whatever all that stuff and then just kind of just go on your butt your way you know freaking out but of course nobody does it but um yeah that's crazy how do you how do you you get a va vacuum cleaner ah. off of you that's bonkers dude i can't find it oh damn look that lady got him on her chest that's crazy Dang. Uh, oh i don't want to see these because they could cosa, but... crawl on oh, you're the one chest hair i know i know but it's because i'm looking for the I can't find hospital? it. That's crazy, man. I can't find it, but I know I've seen it somewhere Ridiculous. in the good old oh, TikTok. Sad. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, uh, dude, that's bonkers, man. When a kid, like I said, is just... Oh, so, uh, I was just saying, um, yeah, the guys get that get uh, the dry scalp. I've seen those videos where like people kind of like, you know, kind of wash it away with all kinds of different stuff they put lemon on it they could put baking soda on peroxide Jesus. and it's fucking dude it's it's wicked yeah and then they're like oh it works see like that's mm -hmm. fucking well yeah i think you just scrub the shit out of his fucking brain out you know what i mean <laughs> okay you know you see all, all those and they like they scrub them out or there was one where like this guy had this uh blade and and this person had a dry scalp all over and he's kind of like you know taking it out mm. little by little like you know i was like dude that's fucking oh bad. yeah i seen that yeah like that's a when you have that that's a skin condition bro you, you gotta go to the doctor you know yeah like Roña. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. You can't be you no know, barber's gonna be like, yeah, I'll take it out for you. Cool, I got you, bro. Like, no, dig. That's fucking. That's what the fucking hell you gross. Doing? Or they get ringworm, bro, in their heads. Like, oh. bro, when you get once you once you see somebody with ringworm, you have to same thing as lice. You have to stop cutting their hair. Yeah. So most of the time we don't because we try to finish it off, and then we gotta disinfect that shit out of the machine, bro. We Is gotta, that why there's like a whole bunch of uh, kids walking around with like half done haircuts? Is because they either have no, lice or ringworm? Dumb, and then uh -huh. you know getting these fucking stupid looking haircuts. Cuts, they're like fuck yeah. <laughs> What's the mo do you have? Uh, do you do the Edgar haircut? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do it. But most of my customers are are a little bit older, so they don't. Really they're men. Yeah, they're men. <laughs> <laughs> they have yeah, style. Give me a man's cut. <laughs> kind of, no, no, I get the no. You know what? I get more um the mullets. There it is. Uh, which kind of, I get the mullet uh more than anything and more than the Edgar haircut because I don't have youngsters that mu that much. So I get the guys that want. Oh yeah, give me the mullet. I was like, all right, cool. Like a burst fade and then a mullet on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm like all right, I, I do that, you know, but. That's what I, that's the one I get the most. That's from 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 guys or from you know. How do you like, even? Because I'm sure they don't come in and they're like, "Give me the Edgar." Give me the mullet. What are they called? Is there, yeah, is there like a the professional name for the an Edgar? 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 It's called the Edgar. Yeah. yeah? No, yeah? it's just a low taper on the sides and the back, and that's it. Oh, like, okay. oh, once they say that, I'm like, oh, you want the Edgar? All right. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, uh, give me go, the okay, indigenous okay. Mexican here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> give me the, the I was born. Give me the apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, apocalypse. Yeah. 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 Y
Um, or you can hit me up at the Aries underscore barbershop or chopping it up barbershop on Instagram. I also have a name on my private suite called the private suite on Instagram as well. I'm all over Instagram, but I got a freaking, that's the only thing I don't have TikToks. I don't have uh, uh, Twitter. I don't have, you know, I think I still do my have my space. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, dude, I, like I said, I can cut your hair, dude. I can talk shit about you. I can, uh, you know what I mean, uh, do the comedy things going on. Uh, now you cut hair in a porta potty Yeah. Oh, I also rent out porta potties dude. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I went into business with one of my friends, and, uh, yeah, we rent out porta potties so They're his. I just, this is salesman over here. Uh, can I do that? Um, you can see the barbershop right there. I got a couple of my uh, of my employees there. Uh, you can also um, hit me up, like I said, at the private suite. I have a show coming up Saturday, October 14th. If this comes out before then, Saturday, October 14th. The uh, Night of Entertainment presents the Halloween show. So you can go there. Uh, it's going to be tickets are on sale on the event, right? Man, you can go check out the comedy over there. I'm going to have a handful of comedians. So we're going to have a uh, Halloween party afterwards. So we just got to stick around because uh, there it is. You can check it out. Uh, ha- uh, costumes are, which um, are, are encouraged. Uh, so that way, like I said, you could, it's going to be a Halloween party. So, you know, you could party up in costume. Uh, then we could also make fun of you about the costume. Uh, yeah, we just got to have a bunch of special guests, man. Shout out to, to my homie Eddie West, who's helped me out with this. Uh, a lot of the other comedians, Big Root, freaking El Gordo Mamon is going to be headlining right there, man. If you guys haven't heard, El Gordo Mamon is super cool, man. Uh, also, check me out here uh, at the, uh, the Mind Buzz podcast. What episode is this? I don't know. What was that? You hear, like, what episode is this? <laughs> Uh, 190 something. 190. Yeah, check me out on the episode 190 something of the Mind Buzz podcast. Let's <laughs> cut it out. The, the Mind, Mind Buzz. <laughs> on uh, my pages. <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> the 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 last maybe like five seconds. The last five seconds. Yeah, if you want to check me out on my comedy, man, go hit my, hit up my Instagram pages. Perfect. And then the open mic every Wednesday. Every City Wednesday. Bell. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you can check out uh, an open mic show called Soy Funny, which got it uh, at Beer Thug Brew in the city of Bell, California. Uh, I host it every Wednesday, man, from 7 to 9. Sign up start at 7. Show starts at 8. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm doing the hosting. If you if you got a joke or if you, if you think you're funny or if you, think you got, if you got a joke or if you think you got what it takes to be a comedian, man, hit me up, dude. I'll give you, you know, a couple of some time there and uh, we'll see what happens, man. Gil's been on there a couple of times, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Which got it? I was working on the stuff here and there. That's the uh, Gil, Gilbert, Gilroy, Gibby, all this. Yeah. I got to We got to bring, bring up a name for you. Come out person. next week and see what I'm called next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be called Lice Boy after this Lice boy. <laughs> episode Lice comes Gil- out. Lice boy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, all right, man. Cool. Thanks. Good. No problem. Appreciate man. Thank it. Thank you guys. Lights. All right. Something. Links in the show description. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye. God, you're all <laughs> fucked up today. No, I'm not. Bye. Bye.